Have you ever seen flash cuts in movies or dramas? I believe yes, but if you haven't seen it yet, let's play an example and see how flash cut looks. Well, as you have seen in the sample, the flash cuts are tremendous if you want to make an emotional scene. It can connect with your audience very easily. And the making process is pretty simple. I've already made a sequence and placed four different clips, right? So here is a clip, the second one, the third one, the fourth one. So we want to make flash cut effect here in the middle of these two clips. First, you need to use speed ramping. So what is speed ramping? When you are doing speed ramping, you are apparently making a portion of your clip faster or slower, right? So to make speed ramping, what you can do, you can just right click here on the FX icon and then go to time remapping speed. And then just navigate where you want to start the speed ramping. I want to speed ramp from this section. So what I can do, I can just press control or command on my keyboard and then just click here. It will add a point here on this clip. Now, if I click and drag this portion, then this portion will fasten up a little bit, right? If I play it back, you will see it's playing slowly and here it's playing very fast. Again, we need to make it a little bit fast. I'll just keep it maybe this much. So if I play it back, so you can see that portion have been fastened up. Again, we need to bring it here and then again right click on the fx icon then time remapping speed and select a portion from where you want to start the speed ramp i am to start it from here so i'll just press ctrl or command on my keyboard and then click and then if i click and drag it i can make this portion faster again if i play it back you'll see that portion have been fastened up right now we need to apply a flash effect here there are several methods that you can use to make a flash effect you can use a solid color also but for this section i will add an adjustment layer right click here on your project panel and then new item and then adjustment layer click and drag this adjustment layer on top of your cuts and then just extend the adjustment layer before where the speed drum started right i'll just start my adjustment layer from here and again i'll trim it down till this point so if i play it back nothing will happen it will look like the same we need to add a flash effect here how we can do that we have to add a lumetri color effect go to effects panel and then search lumetri color click and drag this lumetri color effect on top of your adjustment layer now go to fx control panel if you don't see go to windows then fx control if you click here this panel will appear scroll down there you'll see lumetri color and then just click on this arrow just beside basic correction expand it and then scroll down there you'll see exposure value right so now beside the exposure you'll see a stopwatch icon just click here it will add a keyframe right now if we just increase the exposure value it will add exposure here on this point right if i play it back you'll see the exposure has increased when the adjustment layer started and ended but in the beginning section we want to decrease the exposure so click on the adjustment layer scroll down and there you'll see exposure just reset the exposure value here so we want to have normal exposure at the beginning also at the end we want to have a normal exposure value you can just click and drag it at the end right now if i play it back you can see there is a flash effect to sell the effect you need to add a sound effect so i'll just go here on my bin folder and there i will just add my flash sfx here on this point and then i'll just place like that now if i play it back so you can see the effects is looking very cool again for the second part i will do the same thing
I'll just click and drag this adjustment layer on top of this section because we have already did it we don't want to do that again again for the sound effect I'll just press alt or option on my keyboard then click and drag it to make a copy then adjust the position now if I play it back so here on this point there is a explosion so I will just add a explosion sound effect on this point again I will speed run this section too so if I go here and play the video it's looking cool but without a music it will not complete right so i'll just click and drag this music here and trim down the excess part and if i play it back So you can see the power of a flash cut so when you are doing short films or making any videos if you think the flash cut can make an impact then of course you can use that effect so that is all for today i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up if you know this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro or video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more awesome videos just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye